assalamu alaikum dear learners i hope you are fine and doing great in this video i'm going to show you practically that how you can connect your plc with computer and with some input and output devices because over here i have a micrologix 1400 series a modular plc from allen bradley and with it i have a trainer board as well which is from feedback so i'm going to use my plc and i have already connected its outputs and inputs through these terminals to my trainer board which is over here you can see that plc inputs is written over here and plc outputs is written over here so i have connected my plc's input and outputs to my trainer board and now i can use all the devices on my trainer board to connect to the plc and then program the plc to do a specific thing so in this introductory video i'm just going to show you that how you can connect inputs to the plc inputs and the outputs to the plc outputs over here on this board you can see that we have some terminals for plc inputs these plc inputs are in fact connected to this connection over here which is going to the plc whereas these plc outputs they are connected to this plc output port and they are going into the plc apart from that we have several other things available on this trainer board which we will use slowly for this video i'm just going to show you that how you can connect a sourcing input device to your plc and a sourcing output device to your plc so for a sourcing input device the circuit that i need to make is i need to provide a high voltage or a positive voltage to my plc's common so i'm going to connect the common of plc inputs to a high voltage and from any input i have currently 16 digital inputs ranging from 0 to 15 I can use any of these inputs to connect it to some sensor. So I'm going to use this input number 7 with a push button. So I have connected a high voltage to the common, then I have a PLC input and after that the PLC input is going into the switch and on the other side of the switch I can connect it to the ground to complete the circuit. So this completes the sourcing connection of my input device which is currently a push switch and now what I want is whenever I press this button the PLC will read the input and I want a particular light to turn on. So now I want an output to turn on a particular light. For that uh, once again I'm going to use the output as sourcing so I'm going to provide 24 volts to the common of the output over here and I can use any output pin for example I'm going to use this pin number 10 and from this pin I'm going to turn on let's suppose light H so this H is connected to this LED over here so so what will happen is the current will flow from 24 volts into the common and then if this output switch is on that is through software the PLC is allowing the current to flow then this point will turn on and the current will flow over here into the LED and then it should go to the ground so the other terminal of the LED is this common and I have to ground it so I'm going to use another wire and connect this common terminal to the ground terminal which is also present over here so this completes my circuit for the connection of PLC input and output so now on the computer side I have to run this RS Logix micro make a new project and have to select Micrologix 1400 series A controller the first step is I have to do the IO configuration to make sure that all the input and output devices are connected. So I have this controller attached and I have this output module attached. Now I want to create a simple program using on this first rung. I just need to press a button. So I'm configuring an input device. Its address is going to be I colon 0 slash 7 because I've used the seventh input. And for the output, I'm going to use O colon 1 slash 10 because this is the output that I have used on the trainer board. So what the simple program is going to do is whenever I press this seven number input that it goes high, the output number 10 will go high. So I have attached an LED with output number 10, so it should glow. So I need to now download this project into the PLC. So I have verified it. And now by clicking over here, I can go to the download. I have to save it. And as it is a modular PLC, I need to control its mode through software. So I'm converting it to run mode. And now my PLC is running because because over here you can see that these rungs are green which means that that there is power in these rungs and now whenever I press the push button this output should turn on so as the program has been downloaded I have to turn this board on through this button and these two red indications show that 
there is a 24 volt output coming on these two points but what we programmed is that whenever we push the switch a light over here which is the last one should turn on so let's see what happens and you can see that as I've pressed the push button the light has turned on similarly on the software you can see that if this input is on the output is also on so dear learners I hope you have understood how you can connect your input and output devices to your PLC in a sourcing mode and I have displayed this thing using a simple push button and an LED in next videos I'll try to use other options available in our trainer board and hopefully you'll learn a lot thank you and take care